Good morning, folks. Today we're going to see some amazing stuff on lightning. We'll check out the latest from the James Webb Space Telescope, and we're going to get confirmation of why stars have mega outbursts. But we are starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on the sun, and we find that apart from some impulsive M-class solar flares, it was a quiet day. The sunspots are either departing or incoming, not facing the Earth. The plasma filaments have remained stable. We've got another day or two before the next coronal hole stream arrives, and we're left monitoring the two plasma filaments turning through Earth-facing heliographic longitudes. There are more sunspots coming in behind them on the north in the complex departing group as well, but for now, all is calm, interruptive, and geomagnetic activity. Let's go to lightning, where a station built to study it has captured a high-speed look at an upward positive bolt an Earth discharge event. It fingers upward until it connects with the clouds, and then the connection is made, causing an excitement along the entire connection line. More importantly, they were able to see the X-rays produced by the bolt, something that may become yet another important issue in the ongoing shift as these upward bolts become stronger and more frequent. Up next, let's go to James Webb, where it captures the most high-detailed and zoomed-in look at the Horsehead Nebula. This level of detail has never been revealed before, and it means that Webb's capabilities are significantly higher than its predecessors. Absolute beauty in astrophotography here. Lastly, on the article front, the eruptive activity in one of the stars of the Orion constellation has baffled astronomers for 88 years. Thought to be a feature of only older stars, not young ones like this, but alas, what did they find? Dusty material feeding into the star system causing long-lasting and powerful outburst activity. Basically, an extended duration micronova state for the star. And surprise, it's triggered by dumping material into the system. Sounds familiar. Folks, today the mega release of the e-magazine comes out. Whether you signed up on day one or you sign up right now, you're about to get every issue covering every major science update on the magnetic pole shift, solar micronova, earth disaster cycle, and much more. Hundreds of pages. Can't recommend this resource enough, and today's release alone is worth a lot more than the price to sign up. Link is below. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.45 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.